Top of the morning, man. Top of the morning, man. You know who it is. The wavy one. You heard? Trucker J. I'm doing my one, too. You heard? I'm out here getting this bread. I'm waiting for the crane to come. I'm out here getting money. You heard? Realistic things. I don't care about the internet. You understand me? I get to it. You heard? The internet don't pay J. Cash. Even though when I have my channel... I got about, what, 1500 out of it? Until them suckers took my channel because I was talking that black unity. You know what I mean? Whenever you talk black unity on this internet, the, the masses don't want that. They want you to go against the grain and keep killing yourself with the Willie Lynn syndrome. But when I was showing you how they used to lynch us and hang us from trees, they started striking my channel out of nowhere, bro. The shit is real. They do shadow ban. And that's cool because... This would pay me, you heard? This would pay me. And how long I've been doing this? I've been on the internet how long? And I've been pulling out bread like this. This is what pays me, you heard? You heard? I'm giving this realistic stuff to these youngsters that trucking pays me. You heard? Those are 50s, by the way. Let me see. Well, it ain't, I don't know. It's not showing you, but. You know who that president is. You heard? Those are 50 joints. You heard? That's what pays me. You heard? This internet don't pay me. Trucking. Something realistic for the youngsters to get into. You heard? But anyways, man. So check it. I came across this joint on the internet, you know. Because I'm not on here like that. You see, you see the upgrades I'm doing to my backyard, all that. That's from trucking, young G's. I give you something realistic. Not this fake fraud, clout chasing. I'm a real one. And all the receipts is there. I don't I don't tongue wrestle. I don't run my mouth. All the receipts. Oh, snap. You about to give me my... Oh, shit. You about to pull my box off? Oh, nah, damn. My bad, y'all. They got this new stupid system out here at NS in Atlanta. You heard? And I ain't from here. Ten years down here, going strong. Purchased, purchased a new home three years ago. And look at the upgrades. I give y'all youngsters the real. So I came across this joint, right? I didn't even know this happened. Because I don't be on this, the internet like that. Ten toes. <laughs> Ran down on behind the bar. And I watched the footage. Yo. He told the man he'll smack him. He called him pussy. He called him a bitch. He said if, if, if 12 wasn't outside, he'll bust him down. Pause, nothing like that. Word to my mommy on my neck. Word to my dead cuz on the back. Ten toes. If you ever in your motherfucking life run up on J. Cass, and I'm saying it, look at my face. If you ever in your life run up on me like that, boy, we gonna die right there, son. There's no running off, and I want it on camera. He had his hand in that man's face and every boy. Soon as you to put your hand up, pow, 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 we would have just got to it. We would have got to it. 
So behind the bar, you soft, Duke. You let another man come in your in your circumference? First of all, you wouldn't even have got that close, ten toes. Because I'd have swung on you. I'm a set it off type of dude. Word to my dead mommy, you not going to be in my face. See, some dudes just don't have it in them. Some dudes is just not built like that. I'm built like that all the way to the death of me, son. That's why I don't start no trouble. I move with respect in the atmosphere. Because I'm that type. You violate me, it's on site. I don't give a fuck who around. 12 outside, so what? Let's get it in. Nigga, oodles and noodles would have been coming off the shelves. Wong, wong, wong. We, we would have been getting it in, baby. So behind the bar, you pussy, son. And I'm talking like this because YouTube is going to be on some sucker shit. But y'all see the real. Y'all see the real. I'm getting to the... Let me roll this window down. Because see, the youngsters need to... This is what I do for the youngsters so they can understand. You can have felonies and make money out here doing this. It's raining right now. Doing trucking. See, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I'm not gonna pump fake because this is real life. A lot of these dudes take this internet shit too far. You know what I mean? You understand what I mean? I'm out here trying to show the youngsters, even if you did time and you could put them drugs down. I don't smoke weed. Like I tell people, I used to sell the drugs, I never used them. And you and your license is clean, you could make a substantial amount of money to raise your family in trucking. That's what I do. I keep it real to the people. But with the ones that keep it real to the people, we don't get the numbers like academics. We don't get the numbers like Booty Bandit Hassan Campbell. And I heard he live in the A. So Hassan, look at my face. We can shoot the five. You heard? Me and Ten Toes had words before. And that's as far as it went. And we squashed it. But there's no way in hell another man, niggas bleed just like us. Picture me being scared of a nigga that bleed the same air as me. Niggas bleed just like us. Picture me being shook. We could both pull, gurn, pull burners, make the motherfucking beef cook. Niggas bleed just like us. Picture a nigga hiding my life in that man's hands while he just deciding. What the hell is wrong with behind the bar? Nigga, nigga. I put, listen, I put bread up. Ain't no man on this planet gonna get in my face. Talk crazy. This is a, this is a Tuesday a.m. At approximately, I think it's like 7. I gotta go up to Lawrenceville. I'm in the A. I'm living good. You see the backyard. You see the upgrades. This, ain't no man gonna get in my face and talk crazy like that. Ever. You heard? Without no reaction. So behind the bar. You talk real spicy. I need my, I keep, I need my plastic to keep my money from getting wet. You heard it's raining out here. You talk real spicy on the internet, and then when the man catch you slipping, you understand me, run down on you. No reaction, bro? You keeping that camera on to save your life? Never. It was funny to me. Like I said, I don't be on the internet like that. So it's probably four months ago, I think it happened. I caught it on Death of the Clout Chaser. Yo. No way in hell another man going to be in my... First, I'd have been like, yo, get your hand on my face, Duke. And then he said he was spitting in his... Nigga, you spit in my face. We got to go right there. Like, that's any real man on this planet. Like, that's why I don't disrespect people because I know me. Well, I'm going to go all the way with it. Like I said, man, it ain't about being tough. It's all about being a man and standing your ground, standing 10 toes down, you heard? No way in life. That man was in his face talking crazy. I'll smack you. I'll do this. I'll do that. That was a lot of talking to Ten Toes. You should have just got to it. You said you was going to do it. You should have got to it. Man, I wish a nigga would, man. That's why I stay out the way. Because I know what I'll do. And if I got to go to that extent, black mask and gloves. Leave the phone somewhere. Hey, babe, play with my phone, make calls like, like I'm home, right? Bring no phone, burn clothes, 
Masked up because you know we still could wear masks. So it ain't going to look crazy when you walk around with a mask on because of COVID and all that. And do you dirty? You hurt? No way in hell, man. Behind the bar, you lost all respect for me, bro. Because there's no way in hell. I don't care if he's bigger than you. And we would have respected you more if you would have fought him. Like, like, fuck it. Win or lose. Like, no way in hell you let another man get spicy like that in your face and you don't do nothing. Come on, son. What type of time we on? What type of time are we on? I gotta take a sip of coffee of that joint. See, this is what I do. This is for the youngsters. I'm waiting for that crane, that lovely crane, to take this box off my back. Pause. See how I was going down? See, I give these youngsters something realistic to get into. You could be a felon. You could do time. We got a guy that works for us. He's from New Orleans. He got two teardrops under his eye. We all know. In the hood perspective, that means you caught two bodies, allegedly. He works for us. And he did he did 11 in the bing. And he works for us. This is where you could get some money and take care of your family, youngsters. See, this is what J-Cast does. I give you something real that you can do. No wish upon a star on no damn internet. This is real right here. And felons can get into this, but you just can't smoke weed and you got to have a good license. See how that crane going up with that box? But see, guys like me, I don't get the views. I don't get the recognition, but I'm really out here trying to give something to this youth. You can't tell the youth, get out the streets and don't give them an a, a alley-oop. You heard? A way out? That's what Jay Cass does, you heard? I show you the real. This is not a game. You see that container bringing that, I mean that um crane about to put that box down, you heard? Trucking can save a lot of people's lives. Trucking can also relocate you without a lot of money. And you can work in all 50 states. Get your family out the hood because the hood's never gonna change. You know, I've been saying that. I make it make sense. You heard? But back to um behind the bar, yo son. In all six foot five. 300 pounds of me, 90% muscle, 10% belly fat, because that's all where the fat is at, right here. And it's not a lot. I hold it well, you heard. Another man's not going to get in my face, pointing, talking crazy, and think I'm not going to go up in his dentals. You seen Mike Tyson knock out dudes my size. Yo, it's not about, it's all about fighting and scrapping and timing. I mean, damn, dog, you went out like a sucker. Like, you shouldn't even do internet no more behind the bar. Because I I like the way you had your joint set up, your man cave or what have you. But, dog, you's a sucker, bro. There's no way in hell I let a nigga talk to me like that without a reaction. We just got to get to it. What, you scared to get hit? You're going to get hit in the fight. And that's what's wrong with these youngsters nowadays. They rather get the toolie, which those are around if we got to go that route. You heard? But I'd rather go with these and you live to see another day. That's the era I was raised on. I'm an 80s, a 70 and 80s baby. I was born in 75, you heard? I'm not scared to fight. I came up on fighting on violence. But behind the bar, you a sucker, Duke. You, you should be banned from New York or wherever you from. You soft, Duke. You soft. I got to go because this crane might be um about to take my box off, I think. Yeah, me. Get outside. See what's up. Nah, he about to take that box off. See? That's the only thing about this new system they got here at NS, man. You got to keep getting out the goddamn truck. The crane to act like it's coming to get you and, and take the box off, but then it'll stop. <sighs> Life of a trucker, though. See, I think he's trying to tell him to wake up. Nigga Wayne right there. He's trying to tell him to wake up. And I guess, boy, <laughs> we've been sitting out here for a minute, you know what I mean? But this is what I try to get the youth into. And like I said, the good guys on the internet that really been through some stuff in life, 
and really try to lead the youth to something fruitful. They um they don't get the recognition. We don't get the views, and that's cool. I'm cool with that because at the end of the day, you see me pull out. I pulled out two thousand in your face just now, and I'm eating. And you see the backyard. You see the upgrade. So I mean, I'm I'm living proof. I'm proving that trucking gets the job done. You heard. So. For any of you youngsters that want to get in this field, man, you see, I be shining like new money at work. You heard? Because if you ain't rich, you're going to have to work. And even when the rich ones, they still got to put in work. You understand me? So, I mean, life is what you make it, man. You know, I'm grateful that I never did no time in the bin, you heard? And I made it out. I grew up without a mom since I was 10 years old. You heard? No guidance. My pops was just... Always at work. I was in the streets. I was off the porch at 10 and a half. Living proof, man. All the receipts is there. I done put my work in, put my time in, in the streets. I made it out. Got my fam from up north to down south. I did everything, man. I did what I was supposed to do. That If you're in the streets, you're supposed to have a purpose. You can't just be hustling for some goddamn Jordans in a, in a, in a, in a belt. Make it make sense, man. I do that. But behind the bar, you solve, Duke. You solve. <laughs> ten toes ran down on you, son. Ten toes was going to do you dirty, son. Word life like ten toes is going to do him dirty. He said, I'll smack you. He said, I'll spit in your face. <laughs> ten toes, you will never do that to J Cass. I promise you, bro. And this ain't even talking tough. As soon as you would have started lip service in your jaw, I'd have said it all. Pong. I, I know you would have came with a hit. I'm ready for all that. But as soon as you would have started that lip service, pong, right in your mouth. I wouldn't even have wasted no time. You'd be like, yo, 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 you saw if you bit, pong. That's it. You know what I mean? 100, you see what the crane doing, right? Get into this field, youngsters. No touch freight, too. I don't unload shit. I just drop it at the destination, or either I do a live unload and bring the empty in somewhere else. You heard? 100, man. I'm gone.